Ryan versus Nicholas Nelson for Dunby Holin brothers on opposite side. Let's look at the starting lineup for Dunby Holin. Damien Height in goal, Ricardo Thomas, Shavoy Watkins, Zaki Wilkes, Shaquille Powell, Alex Gale, Saniki Burton, Rajay Smith, Rohan Brown, Stephen Barnett, and Nicholas Nelson, their coach by Lenworth Hyde. Yeah, similar 4 4 2 to what we saw before, but expect to see a lot of fluid movement and interchange, especially in attack from this Dumbo Holding team. Here's the team sheet from Alliance United Peter Harrison in goal, Omari Cunningham, Enrique Gordon, Tajini Frankson, Joel Powell, Jeremy Nelson, Jason Wright, TJ Cooper, Thorn Simpson, Rashawn Livingston, Shamar Dennis. Alex Thomas is their coach. We expect to see a change in formation from what we have seen from Malines, especially since last season. They're slated to play more of a 5-3-2. Let's see if they gave us the right details. But they need to shore up. O'Shea Nation got this one going off. And it was a... Ball Lions who have the better start, Thorne Simpson there, unable to save, unable to convert as the Damon Hyde came up big for Dunby Holden. Here again, Thorne Simpson was able to head on target. What a save it was from Damien Hyatt. Really an inspired performance from the custodian for Dunby Holden. And he certainly kept them in the game early on. Here's where the game perhaps changed for the benefit of Dunby Holden. Alex Gale breaking up that play, spreading it into the half space. Nicholas Nelson, he doesn't really miss from that angle, from that point of the field. Good vision, depth touch from Gale. Capable finish from Nicholas Nelson against his old club. Ops not to celebrate Peter Harrison. They're frustrated. Forlorn. Here's the strike. Not much pressure on the, that one. The Lions would continue to come forward. Look at this. It should have been converted by Enrique Gordon. But for some reason, was unable to really get his laces behind it. And he knows he should have done better. Here's another chance. It came to Stephen Barnett, he couldn't convert. And another shot would have come from Rajay Smith, who also had a, an important point to play. Look at the save from Hyatt again. What a save it was. Jason Wright was certainly bringing that one on target. And Hyatt again, showing why he was the man of the match. Here's Barnett, doing well to bring it across. The second of the evening for Nicholas Nelson. Four goals this season for him now. And a two against his old club. Again, opting not to celebrate out of respect. But I'm sure Dunby Holden fans respect his contribution. A lot on his mind at that moment, Alex Thomas. And the number 10, who formerly represented Wallines, uh, would have been a part of it. Here they came forward once more. What a beautiful take. Williams though brought it forward Blackwood his first touch let him down Peter Harrison safe hands able to stave off any danger there here Jeremy Nelson would push forward the substitute Fabian McCarthy brought him down and this was late in the second half in the 80th minute there about Jeremy Nelson stepped forward saved but the follow-up was good. And when you see all of those performances from Damien Hyde, you understand the man of the match pick. Nelson, though, was alert and able to convert in the end, sparing some amount of blush, causing some amount of joy and consolation for Mullines United and Alex Thomas. And that was the end of the match. Here are the match statistics. Five shots on target from Dunby Holden from eight attempts. Six on target for Mullines from eight attempts. Eight fouls for Mullines, four for Dunby Holden. Two yellow cards for Mullines. 
Certainly not a horrible game in terms of discipline. No red cards. An offside apiece. Nine corners all to my lines. Done beholding. Five saves made by Damon Hyatt. Three made by Peter Harrison. My lines had the majority of the possession, but they still come out losers. 2 1 to Done Beholding. LeJay is standing by with the man of the match. Yeah, I'm here with Damien Hyatt. It's not very often, you know, your teammate scores two goals, but the goalkeeper gets man of the match. It's because he had a really good performance today. Talk us through some of the saves you had to make. Um, you know, it's a, a typical. That's what we get paid for, you know. To save the ball, you know. And the work I put in on and off the pitch make a big difference tonight. And you know, this is not the first penalty you're saving for the season. Unfortunately, the rebound was scored, but is that something that you consistently work on getting inside penalty kickers' heads in order to save those penalties? Yeah, you know, one I think, you know, most, most penalty when I kick a penalty and they might go across my body. So to me, you know, when I go, I switch. Isn't it? That's why I save yeah. it. So it's all psychological with you. You've been one of the more consistent keepers in the league for quite some time now. One of the leaders in this Dumbo holding team. What do you think your team can achieve this season? Well, we can, we can challenge. We'll just continue to put in the work. And listen to what the coach said. All right, great performance today. Congrats on the win and best of luck for the rest of the season. Yeah, thanks. That was Damian Hyatt. Dumbo Holdings number one. Man of the match today. Really good performance. Now we'll be going for Alex Thomas, coach of Malines United.